Hello everyone, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions. Welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. Today's topic is the home icon. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. What I wanted to talk about is this home icon up here in the top left of the screen. If I click on it, it will bring me to a page that shows all of my projects and the files and folders that are in these projects. Looking at the left side here, you have the option to select which team you want to use. I can open a file from my computer using the Open button. I can also create a new design or an electronics design from here. By clicking on the Recent button, we can see the projects I have recently worked on. By clicking the Projects button, it lists all of the projects I have in my team. And by clicking on the Samples button, I can open any of the sample projects that are included with Fusion. Moving into the main window, you have the ability to view the files in List View or Grid View. I personally like Grid View. If I click on the Projects option on the left, I can see options to create a new folder, upload files, or even leave a project if necessary. We can sort the project by name or by date modified. Click on the up or down arrow to sort ascending or descending. By clicking on the filter icon on the right, you can filter by date or by file types. Right now, it's showing all results. If I click on the last seven days, you can see it is only showing the wall switch, which I worked on this week. If I change to the last 90 days, more files appear. Let's filter those by file type. I'll select Fusion Drawing, and now it is only showing the drawings I've worked on in the last 90 days. Press the Clear Filters at the bottom to reset the filters. I really like using the search function here. I'll search for Switch, and it returns a bunch of different files with the word Switch in them. If I hover over any of these and click on the three dots, I get options to open the file in Diffusion, open the file into a web browser, look at properties, or share the file. I'll select Open, and you can see that it opens the file in Diffusion. If I go back and say Open on the Web, it will bring up a web page where I can see the referenced models and the attached drawings. I can also look at the bills of materials or even view the assembly in the web viewer. Let's go back into Fusion. If I click on the Recent command, it will show all of the stuff I've recently worked on. If I right click on the miter saw stand, I can select Show in Location. It will expand open the projects and show where the assembly is located. In this example, it was inside the miter saw stand folder under the Tech Thursdays project. I find using the home icon a much easier way to find files I need instead of using the data panel. So, give the home icon a try and see what you think. I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday. Thank you.